Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to work with a very special and interesting endgame. This is the position, it is White's turn, and my question is, what is going to happen? Is White winning this endgame, or do you think Black is getting a draw here? Just to be clear, this pawn advances like this, as this pawn advances like this. So, you know, uh, what is going to happen? Um, Take your time, work a little by yourself, and see you in some seconds. Okay, it is more or less clear that white has nothing better here than promoting to queen here, and the same goes for black. So we're going to transpose uh, to a king and queen versus king and queen endgame here. So before we continue, we should uh, make a pause here and analyze some basic position some really important position you should know. This is the situation I want to analyze with you and we are going to use this in the solution of our endgame today. In this position it is wide, wide to move and after king g3 we have a mate net here. White is going to win, there is no way for black to stop mate. As you can see white is threatening mate here, here or here. And this queen is very passive the same for the king, he's in a very bad situation and as the queen is so passive that there won't be a good check with the queen to get rid of the mate threats so uh, the checks here are like this or maybe um, let's say like uh, this and all those checks are bad and black is uh, losing the queen so there's nothing black can do here to stop or avoid the mate threat here so let's go back to our position but don't forget this basic situation so white is going to promote here and black is going to do the same and then we have this position usually king and queen versus king and queen is going to be a draw but actually this position is going to be winning for white the problem is as we said when we saw uh, the basic position is the queen is too passive and also the king is in a bad situation there there, is, there are made uh, threats around this king and and that's why in this endgame white is going to be a able surprisingly is going to be able to win here so the right move here will be queen f3 and then white has two options they can play king h2 and they can play king g1 but it's actually pretty clear that after king h2 there is mating 1 because white can play here queen g3 so we are going to focus on king g1 and now there is another special move for white to win here and it is going to be this queen e3 again black has some options black can play here king g2, king h2 or king f1 but King h2 is the same, mate with the queen on g3. So we need to focus now on king g2 and king f1. But actually, king g2 is more or less easy because then we can use the basic position. Try to analyze by yourself. The way to win here is queen e2, king g1, and then king g3. And this is winning for white. So after queen e3, we are going to see the third possibility king f1 then white needs to continue with queen c1 king g2 is the only move because white is getting the queen and then queen d2 king f1 and then queen d1 forcing king g2 again and then queen e2 and now the king has to go to g1 and this is the position we were looking for now white can play king g3 and win the end game with some unstoppable mate threat here. Notice the plan with the queen getting closer until it got the perfect square and then we will have the mate net there with the king coming to g3. So this is the video I wanted to show you today. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you like this kind of videos about interesting endgames, exceptions to the rules, give me likes so I can know it and I will gladly try it to find more situations like this and record videos about it. So 
that's it. Thank you for watching. You are very welcome to subscribe to the channel and take care and see you in the next.